Come on, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Start where you are. Come on. Hey everybody, this is Alan with me, you and the chickens. And I uh, just wanted to drop in, make a little video, and talk to you guys about the start of this farming experience for us. I guess every farmer has uh, its beginnings or their beginnings. Some farmers come through the line of lineage, you know, their father's farm, their grandfather's had a farm, and so farming was in their blood. I'm going to tell you about my farming lineage. I have none. <laughs> I actually have no farming lineage. If there is some, uh, I'm not aware of it. And the reason why I wanted to uh, make this video about uh, you know farming lineage is because a lot of people don't start because they believe that they don't know enough or don't have any experience with farming. My thing is, is, this is what I believe. It's just what I believe. I believe farming is an experience that you develop experience in. Because there are different methods to farming, uh, primarily because there are different places, regions, that people actually farm in. So there's gonna be no one clear cut method unless you're using uh, some of the new scientific applications to farming, you know, using different chemicals to raise crops and things like that. So there are some things that are gonna be similar across the board and then there are gonna be other things that are, be, that are gonna be totally different to everybody. And the reason why I wanted to say that is because we just started and I have or I had absolutely no experience in farming. I had absolutely no experience in building chicken coops. I had absolutely no experience in raising farm animals. So I just wanted to give this message to actually uh, inspire people to start farming. You have to start where you are. Just just start where you are. Even though the reason that we started was because of, you know, the current health crisis that was going on in the beginning of the health crisis. We actually, you know, got into the ready and preparedness thing. So we went out and we ordered some chickens and ducks from a hatchery. Got them shipped to the house, did some research, did some reading, watched plenty of YouTube videos on how to raise chickens, how to raise ducks, the different things that went into you know, raising the animals and the upkeep of the animals, and that's where we started. My wife, does have prior experience in raising animals. Uh, she did have horses, she did have pigs, uh, she had a chicken coop. So she had a little bit of experience, but nothing like where we are now. So, if you're considering farming, if you're interested in farming, just start. Find what you want to do and start. Shout out to a, a great YouTuber that uh, I just recently um, subscribed to and I learned quite a bit a lot. He's really inspirational and that's the Lead, Lead Farmer. I believe it's Lead Farmer 72. Incredible guy. And one of his main messages just recently was 
uh, telling people to go out and get something and plant something. And that's the, that, that is the same uh, stance that you have to take with raising animals. Go out and get the animals. Or if you're hesitant, start learning about the animals and how to actually take care of the animals uh, before you go out and, and get the animals. Because there are little nuances that you are, you are going to have to know in order to successfully take care of those animals. So say for instance, you buy chicks from a hatchery. When you receive those chicks, you're gonna have to have a brooder. You're going to have to, you know, get you a heat lamp to keep those chicks uh, warm until they're of age to actually go out uh, on, in your yard or in an outside chicken coop. You're gonna need to know what kind of feed you know. You're gonna have to feed them chick starter as opposed to feeding them layer pellets like you feed your adult birds. But the, the whole idea is to start where you are. That's really important. I grew up in a metropolis, a metropolitan area, a city, very urban. There's no one I know in my city that I was raised in that actually raised chickens. I grew up on the Hudson River in Jersey City, New Jersey, on the Hudson River, overlooking the New York skyline. Everyone's yard was a couple of square feet, backyards. There are no, uh, inside the city, there are no acres, there are no uh, huge gardens, there are no one raising chickens and things like that inside of the city. Well, not that I knew of. And also, we lived in housing communities. I also come from a family, uh, on both sides of my family, where we actually lived in housing communities. So, moving out into the country and learning about the way that things are done out in the country was an eye-opening experience for me. And I'm so appreciative of the fact that we just started. It's really important. So, you know, when you're raising chickens, there's going to be a learning experience. So, even with very little experience, you're going to still learn more. And no one actually knows everything. There are some people. <laughs> there are master chicken breeders and people that raise chickens. So I'm not going to say that there's no one that knows everything about chickens because there actually are people out there that know a ton about raising chickens. But for the, the person that's just getting started, you don't know, have to know everything. All you have to have is the willingness to actually take care of the chickens. Take care of your birds. Ensure that you are raising healthy chickens. And along the way, reach out to the community of people who are doing the same thing. Start joining Facebook groups for chicken and raising enthusiasts. Start looking at more videos uh, on YouTube that are with people that are raising chickens. Subscribe to those channels. Hit the icon bell so that you can get the notifications when they upload a new video because those bits of information that they are giving to you are extremely valuable. Extremely valuable. And it, it has been extremely valuable to me and to us raising chickens. And now... Our operation is growing, our farm is growing, uh, we're raising chickens according to the particular breeds, we're separating the breeds, we're ensuring the, the integrity of the particular breed. Uh, we want to get to the point where we're raising show quality birds. We sell hatching eggs, we sell chicks, 
in the community. We're actually working with other backyard farmers, homesteaders, backyard chicken coop, uh, people who are raising just chickens, uh, people who are raising quail, people who are raising ducks, people who are raising goats, turkeys. And right now on our farm, we have an assortment of different animals. So we have chickens, we have geese, we have ducks, uh, we have goats. Did I say goats, chicken, geese, ducks, quail, rabbits? So it, just start where you are. And it's an incredible, it's, I'm telling you, it's an incredible adventure when you are, you know, learning and building a farm or a small homestead. Because right now we are on a homestead. And on our homestead we have a, a chicken area, chicken raising and farming area. And the rest of the property that we have, we're building, uh, we're working uh, on permaculture and building up our food forest. So we've planted loquats, moringa, banana trees, figs, different viney uh, fruiting, different fruiting vines on our property. So it, make sure that you just go ahead and get into it. I implore even uh, the people who are subscribed to our channel to go check out the Lead Farmer's latest video. The guy's incredible. And he is an inspiration to me. So I'm sure that he'd be an inspiration to you if you're into gardening and things like that. So I just wanna, I just wanna make sure that I'm giving uh, people their just due when they inspire me. So remember, I'm a, I'm a city guy. Born and raised in a city. I'm talking about high, densely populated urban area in Jersey City, New Jersey. Uh, concrete sidewalks. You go from the concrete sidewalk to the asphalt street. And that is the, the, the vast majority of the city. It's so much concrete. I'm not even a real big sports player, but... I used to play football with my cousins and we would have to go out onto the freeway to the those grassy mediums on the freeway to play football. That's how densely populated uh, the area that I grew up in. So uh, just again, this is Alan with me, you and the chicken farm. And just remember, start where you are. And also, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share this content. Share it to your page so that you're reminded of, you know, the information that's given. When you come across information that's valuable to you, share that information, even if you're not where you are. Just share the information. That way... You're reminded, even if it's a year later, just as a memory, you're reminded of the content. You're reminded of what you want to do and what may inspire you to do something. So until next time, thank you so very much for stopping in. And